Hey, what's up guys? Jose here, ShreddedDad.com. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use the power block adjustable dumbbells. I just got a DM the other day on Instagram from a person saying, hey, I just picked up a pair of power blocks just like yours, but I don't know how to use the smaller two and a half pound plates that are inside the handle. And it's very simple actually. I'm gonna break it down so that you understand we're gonna simplify it in different increments and in increments of 10 pounds, five pounds, and seven and a half pounds. And it's not very hard to, to, uh, to understand when to get the hang of it. So very simple, the way that the power blocks work is that they work almost like a stack of weights inside a, a cable pulley system at the gym where you grab a pin and then you insert it into a certain amount of weight you wanna pick up and then you pick that weight up. So this works the same way. When you're dealing with 10 pound increments, we have different rails. And this that I'm pulling out here is called a selector pin. This allows you to select the amount of weight you wanna pick up. So we have rails here on the sides. These rails are basically different weights and, and we're talking about 10 pound increments. So this one over here is 20 pounds, 30 pounds, 40 pounds and 50 pounds. So this is what's called stage one of the power blocks, which basically means you, you can go from five to 50 pounds. So it's adjustable in between that range from five to 50 pounds. Now, if I wanted to just select between 10 pound increments, it's very simple. The handle inside here weighs 10 pounds and then each one of these rail is 10 pounds. So we have 10 from the handle 20, 30, 40, 50. So if I wanted to select 40 pounds, I simply get the selector pin, insert it in the area that says 40 pounds. And then when I lift this up, it, it leaves 10 pounds behind because it's only picking up 40, not 50. So I have 40 pounds in my hand here. So very simple. If I wanted to do 30, I just move one up and I pick up 30 and it leaves two behind. So that's very basic. That's the easiest thing you can remember, just 10 pound increments. Now, when we're dealing with five pound increments, what you wanna do is you wanna reduce weight from the handle itself. And this is where the smaller two and a half pound plates come into effect. So in order to first remove the handle, you have to remove the selector pin. Okay, that releases the handle. Now I can pull out the handle. Now over here inside the handle, we have two circles that are holding two and a half pound plates. So in total, when, when these two, two and a half pound plates are inside the handle, this weighs 10 pounds. So in order for us to move in five pound increments, we have to reduce five pounds from the handle. So how do you do that? Well, very simple. There's a little lever right here on the side. You pull that down and now I'm able to pull out the two, two and a half pound plates or bars, okay? So now this handle only weighs five pounds. When I have these in there, the handle weighs 10 pounds. So if I wanna use five pound increments, put the handle in, if I select 50, if I insert this into the rail that says 50, I'm actually just picking up 45 pounds because we subtracted five pounds from the handle. So right now, I'm working with 45 pounds. If I move it up to 40, you subtract five that we took out, so I'm only lifting 35 pounds here. Okay, makes sense, very simple. So that's, we went from 10 pound increments, we took out two of these, now we're subtracting five from every number that we select here on the rails. Now in order to work with increments of seven and a half pounds, what we do is again, we have to release this to pull out the handle, and now what we're gonna do is we're going to open this back up, and we're inserting only one of these. Okay, so, we have five pounds from the handle plus two and a half pounds from the adder weight. Now we have seven and a half pounds right here. So anytime we put this in here, let's say if I put this on the 50, I get the selector pin, put it under the 50 pound rail. I'm actually lifting up 47 and a half pounds. Why 47 and a half pounds? Because we're missing two and a half pounds from the handle. So very simple math. Now you understand that if you look at it in different increments, increments of 10, where you have all the weights inside, then increments of five, you have both adder weights out, and then increments of seven and a half pounds where you leave one of these out, then it's very simple to understand. All you have to do is subtract either five pounds or subtract two and a half pounds, very simple. So I'm gonna pull this back out here. I'm gonna insert the adder weights again. So now the handle is complete, it weighs 10 pounds and we're working with 10 pound increments. So that's all there's to it, very simple. 
it's all a matter of just getting used to it. And once you start getting used to it, you'll see that you'll be moving through these very, very quickly. I personally don't really use the adder weights much. I leave them inside the handle. So I'm working with 10 pound increments most of the time. So I hope you liked the information in this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments and questions down below. And what I'll do also in the description down below this video, I'm going to leave links to other videos that I've made about the power blocks. I made one comparing the power blocks EXP to the Bowflex Electric 552. And I also made a complete review of the power blocks EXP as well. So I'll leave those down below in the, in the description. And also, if you have any questions about, like I said earlier, if you have any questions about creating or starting a DIY garage gym, a home gym, any DIY equipment, or just any hacks, any gym hacks, make sure you follow me on Instagram at that shredded. Send me a direct message on there if you have any questions. And you can also check out my website where I have a lot of the DIY stuff, a lot of the gym hacks that I've created. Check me out at shredddad.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.